Hello guys, Igor here. Let's check out that thread on Reddit about a tool called Photopia. The, f the founder Ivan just created that thread on Reddit saying that he has a million of users, but no businesses use Photopia. Hi, my name is Ivan and I made a free photo editor, Photopia. It's very advanced and I am confident to say that it can replace Adobe Photoshop, Pixelmator, Affinity Photo and other tools. I released it in 2013 and now 4 million people have used it in the last 30 days. All this time, I wanted it to be totally free to use. It has attracted many people who cannot afford to pay. Many of them are children who use like 1% of features. Some teachers teach Photopia at schools because the school cannot afford expensive software or they only have Chromebooks, which cannot run regular apps. Well, Ivan, if you have a lot of children using your tool and also you have schools using your tool, you have a tool that will be the future. You should keep that free plan, but also market your tool with a government plan to people working in the government, showing them that unsurmountable children user base and also showing that teachers are teaching using Photopia at schools and you could sell license to the government and Photopia could be a standard to many governments that do not have the money to pay Adobe to all the schools and also that are searching for a solution to teach design to children. And you will also solve that problem that children use like 1% of features. So those children need to learn more about the tool and you can use that. You can achieve that goal, creating YouTube videos and also empowering those schools with government and government license. And then teachers could teach Photopia to them while they are learning design. I still struggle to attract businesses. To be clear, there are some adult professionals, not necessarily designers, using Photopia. They even use it to solve tasks for their employer, company. The company usually doesn't provide any software to do the job, or they don't like the interface of the software they are given, or the software they can get cannot do what, what they need. These people tend to keep it a secret that they use it for Photopia, Often it sounds like they are afraid that their boys would be angry at them for not using the tool they were told to use. Or they feel ashamed to admit they use a tool nobody has ever heard of, like wearing watches from a brand nobody knows. In short, it feels like some companies are paying for software X, which nobody uses, and employees end up using other software for which nobody pays. Well, so it seems your tool is a good fit for small businesses because many of those employees using Photopia in an environment that the company does not provide any software. So you should cold mail those companies to present Photopia to them and tell them that professionals from their company are already using Photopia. And then you can create a business license with team collaboration, branding, saving the designs on the cloud, etc. You can, for instance, use the Canva team plan as a reference for your Photopia company plan. And then you can do all that B2B market. And if people are still ashamed to tell they're using Photopia because nobody knows. You should invest more in marketing, in your branding, for instance, crea creating videos on YouTube, running ads, and also when you create your pro, pro plan, you can give a lifetime license to influencers to test the tool and create tutorials, and this will make your tool more rena renowned in the world and in the community. And also, if you have that huge database and huge user base with children, it means that 
it's a question of time for your brain to be renowned to the future and the current young generation. I would like to make Photopia more sexy to companies. They could start using a free version with ads. And if they like it, they could order a premium for their employees. I think adding ads to a free version could harm your branding. And remember that you want to make Photopia to be credible to people. So they then they will not be ashamed uh, because they are using Photopia. So using ads will just flash many brands to people and it could remember them that you are in need of those ads to survive. So just focus on creating premium and business plan and cold emailing uh, companies that already have users using our tool and also try to do that partnership with the government. Let's check that comment. How about a way to save PSD on the cloud? That would be a nice premium feature to have and I think a typical feature businesses look for. Thank you for being committed to keeping Photopia free for the smaller users. Yes, you should keep the free plan, but create a pro plan with add-ons, with features that would be perfect for professionals and also companies, for instance, the team collaboration feature. And one of those features could be saving PSDs on the cloud. Let's check also that comment. Funny, I should see this post. I used Photopia this morning and I was trying to see if there was a pro version just because my boss is on a SAS Bing and I was looking to recommend it as it's super useful. So you already have here a hint that small business would like to buy license with company plans to help all those employees, even uh, even more if they don't have also a software license in the company, if the company does not provide that license. So your focus should be the small businesses starting from those who have professionals already using your tool and also trying to do a partnership with the government to sell license to the school so teachers can cheat those children and it's a question of time for Photopia being a huge success in the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.